Hey everyone, Les and Nicole here with French Kiss Textures. Today I'm going to talk about using adjustment layers and clipping masks to modify your textures. Alright, I have here a photograph of an anemone. I've already placed a texture and then a quick layer mask for this. Now in a previous tutorial on the blog, we talked about using adjustment layers. So let's go ahead and place one. I'm going to place a levels adjustment layer. And let's say we want to brighten this image. I'm just going to pull the highlights up over here. And as you can see, that's brightening both the flower and the texture. And that's fine in this case, but what if we want to edit just the texture without the flower? Here's where could be masks come to play. Let's say we've decided we want the texture to be a different color because it's this pink is kind of competing with the red of the flower. Let's open up a hue saturation adjustment layer. Now as you can see, if I start playing around with the hue, the problem is it's also changing the flower. Which we don't want. So let's do a clipping mask. There's several ways to do this. First, come over here to layer panel in the flyout menu and choose create clipping mask. And you can see here the layer now has an arrow pointing down. And what that means is that this adjustment will only make an adjustment for the layer just below, in this case our texture. Now if I, let's see, let's do the hue slider. Let's, now if I play with that hue slider, you can see that our texture is being edited, but the flower image is remaining unchanged. Okay, let's come back over here and say we want our texture to be kind of this golden color. All right, notice that if I turn off the texture, the clipping mask turns off as well. If I want to release the clipping mask, let me show you a little keyboard shortcut for that. Hold down either Option or Alt on the PC and click between the clipping mask and the layer. You see this kind of double circle appear here? Let's clip there. And the clipping mask is released. Click again and we reactivate it. That's about it. You can see how this is a very powerful way to edit your textures on the fly to give you more versatility with your textures. I've placed a review of the Photoshop shortcuts on the blog.